All right, so I'm slowly getting started. I was, I've been pretty vocal about this, but I had a um, thing to do. Oh my gosh, the sound is broken again. Uh, I had to do some stuff IRL, and then the weather here was also really bad. Um, I didn't mention anything about the weather because I knew I was already going to be late. Anyway, hang on. I may need to reset my, my system. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll reset it and see if that fits as the audio, because it's definitely, well, questionable is an understatement. Oh good, and now my OBS has decided to explode. Now... Is... My HDMI signal going to... Handshake correctly or not? Uh, of course, my monitor is being stupid. All right, I have to turn my monitor off and back on. <laughs> Hooray, troubleshooting. And the audio is still broken. Alright. Now that we've been troubleshooting for a solid two and a half minutes, almost. Maybe we can actually get started. So, I was originally going to do all the machine strike stuff and basically do, do the rest of the side missions, then do the last couple of uh, things for machine strike. Uh, let's see, there's Tides of Justice. As well as First to Fly. And then, obviously, there's the expert and master machine strike uh, players that we can still do for the vanilla game. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish the vanilla story, just so we have that out of the way. Uh, because this is going to be, this is definitely going to be a shorter um, stream. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to finish, we're going to finish Tides of Justice, we're going to do... Uh, first fly, then we'll do Singularity. I think it's just back at the base. Yeah. Um, so we'll do F Tides of Justice, we'll do First to Fly, then we'll do Singularity. Then when we come back tomorrow, we'll do the Machine Strike. Uh, what's left of the machine strike stuff because I, I should have a more time to do things tomorrow hopefully um, and after we get done with the machine strike stuff then we'll finally go and do the uh, the um, the 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 what's it called the the, the DLC DLC I definitely want to do all that stuff because, like, this will be 
four skill points, and then Singularity is two, so that'll put us to seven skill points. Um, then the Machine Strike Expert level, we complete those three, and those will be um, two more skill points. And once we... And we'll probably get something for completing the Machine Strike Master. Um... Thing. Uh, but we'll at the very least be able to... Finish out Hunter's Mark, and then we'll be able to start working toward on the rest of the uh, the ults that we have unlocked. Even though I honestly don't really know, like honestly, Radial Blast has been just. completely invaluable to us since, like, the early game. Just the ability to be like, hey, by the way, now now you're just, now this enemy, now this enemy and everything are, and now this entire group of enemies is just taking a thousand damage. Well, 1200 damage. Just because they got too close together. Or just because they got too close to me, that is extremely good. Interesting is the DLC takes place down here, but we first encountered the Quinn over here. Well, that's what it was up here, and their like main station is like up here. So basically. In order to reach there, they would have had to go like this. Which kind of screams to me that the Quinn have no idea how to fucking navigate. <laughs> the sentry said the raft was heading west. One raft in an ocean. Should be easy to find. I mean, is it not just this? Wreckage. From a raft. Maybe those fugitives didn't make it too far after all. I'll only find... Howdy. Um. Oh. You're one of the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach. Where are the others? Holed up on top of the tower across the sea to the west. Where I left them. I thought that they were troops of Nacht, but they're murderers, not soldiers. The Tanakh, the tides reach, think you should all face justice. Then they should come and get me themselves. If you want justice, then find the others. Leave me here to face the sea. My last battle. Why did you abandon the other raiders? 
They abandon the cause. They seek carnage, not honor. You think the attack on Tide's Reach was honorable? I wanted to face the guards in battle. But this the others weird. murdered them in their sleep. The rebellion is over, you know. So you say. I say there will always be those who want the Tanakh to be true to themselves. Leave me. You'll find the others on the tower if you keep going to the west. Alright, fine. Time to fucking go kill a bunch of raiders, I guess. Um, I need the Delta Sharp Shot bow because we're... I'm your turn. So those fugitives are in a tower to the west. If they're close to landfall, they could be a threat to the Quen. You better take care of them. Yep. That's what we're working on. A tower to the west. I definitely wish the flying was faster. Uh. Higher. What? What do you mean? They're on top of a tower. Also, how would you get lost? You're. Well, I guess they can't. That eliminates that tower right there and that tower right there. Fugitives must be on top of one of those buildings. I found them. I think. There. Someone's lit a fire. It must be the raiders who attacked Tide's Reach. Yep, um... These fugitives escape. Not really sure where I'm going, but you know. Shine to my left. Oh, yeah, it is that other tower. Ooh, green shine slap. Nice. Aw, poor Sunwing. This is gonna work out the way I'm hoping it will. Ok, 
Okay, that's the Raiders. And they are a threat. Oh, jeez! What is happening? Uh... Okay. What is happening? Now we can finish. Ah! You know what? I've had enough of this. Back off! That's the last of them. Those raiders won't be attacking Tide's Reach again. Or anyone else. Completed two flying mount quests and completed Tides of Justice, and there's also just stuff is up this above. All their supplies? Whatever they stole, they've used or lost most of it. Corrosive blast. Might as well take what's here. So what I was trying to do, I was trying to throw to scroll, cycle to my smoke bombs, but you know this game has the same as the issue of there's just way too much shit. Why did we not take... Oh, we can't take the Corrosive Blast Sling because we already own one, which is dumb. I can't stand that about Kansas. This should at least let me take the duplicate so that I can sell it. Like, oh no, you already have one of these. And I'm like, but I want to sell the one that... But I want to sell this... Sec one of them for money. Like, <laughs> it's, it's genuinely so un so fucking annoying when games arbitrarily limit shit like that. Because look, now I have to fucking remember where this tower is, go to Tide's Reach, sell the thing, then come back. Tide's Reach, which is the opposite direction of where I'm going. Thunderstorm's still going up, going on again, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely IRL thunder that I'm hearing. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that other corrosive blast sling. Like it sucks that we can't sell it, but. You know what, I- it's literally, like, right next to where we are, and this isn't. Like, it's- like, this isn't upgraded. The one we have isn't, isn't upgraded or anything. So we'll sell the... Corrosive Blast Sling. I offer to provide you with weapons still stands. And now I need to. Uh, was it this one or this one? I think it was this one. Um, what? I 
Feral Thunder, go away. It's it had stopped it had stopped raining before. Time to take to the skies. Well, we completed two flying mount quests. I guess. I'm kind of disappointed that we can only fly on sunlings. I feel like Aloy should be able to expand the, her ability with that. To include, um, this is where we work. Just there we go. Is this all their supplies? Whatever they stole, they've used or lost most of it. I might as well take what's here. All right, we can now remove this. And I guess we'll just fly over to the first to fly area. to the east. Actually, I can drop at Legacy's Landfall, then teleport, um, until, like, right here, or right here. And it will be much faster than flying. Then again, we haven't really seen... ...much of the world... We haven't seen a lot of the world while flying, so... Why not? Oh dear! Ah, I pressed the wrong button. I guess in terms of weapons, we can equip four fall. That way we're running with a golden weapon wheel. where we found um, Demeter at. Oh, 
going too high. Speed will just. How are we flying too high, Aloy? That doesn't make any physical sense. Well, unfortunately, we cannot fly over the mountain. Even though we've definitely seen sun wings higher up than this. Is that this sun wings like... Yeah, like up here. <laughs> Maybe it has to do with your distance from the ground. Basically, going to get. We're basically you're just going to be killing a storm bird. Actually, that reminds me, since we are fighting a storm bird, I'm going to need terrible atlas arrows. Oh, I'm sorry, precision tear arrows. Which means we need glow blast sharp shot bow. I don't have the green shine slabs to. Upgrade this to the next level, do I? I don't think I do. Yeah, no, we only have one, we need probably three. I could create a job to find green shine slabs, maybe. Um. And it would probably point me to like two or three, to at least one. But, I don't know. I kind of prefer the idea of, um... Yeah, what is this? What the heck? Oh, okay, I've already been here. I understand. We're still, we still have a ways to go. I think that may have been the site of a black box. 
but I just saw I just saw the structure and I was like is this some, some thing that someone is living in like what is this This took way longer than it could than it could have, but we at least got to enjoy the um the sights a bit. Frost claws down there, not that it matters. Uh, do I have any category that doesn't have at least one legendary? Uh, rope caster, actually. So there might be a legendary rope caster for completing the last of the, um, all the machine strike trials. This is the mountain where they to knock the rest of the Stormbird. Rika's armor should be around here somewhere. A fragment of Rika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. That's a stormbird. Must be the stormbird that killed Farika. Oh my! I didn't expect it to land on top of me. Stormbird is bugged and permanently alive. I killed this thing so hard that it just permanent. Okay. It did. One more bit of armor. Watch the machine. fragment. My focus might see something. Yeah, it saw that. Uh, there's also... 
That. That. Ooh, green gen slab. Armor piece, there we go. Let me go grab all these supplies first. One more. Uh, we need one more. We would need one more to upgrade the um. The Looks like called. another bit of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the Tanakh know I recovered what's left of Farika's kit. Yeah, I don't know what the cannon, what the Stormbird's cannon fell to. There it is, way down there. Oh, actually, those are wing thrusters. Hmm, <laughs> that was kind of scary. very confused. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, now I'm very confused, because we definitely shot the cannon off, and it's just gone, apparently. Lucky find. Not really, Ellie. Every single fucking Stormbird has one. So where are they at? They're over there. Okay. Hold on. There you go. It took a little took a little bit of damage from the Stormbird fight. Think, see what melee follow up. Interesting. That would actually be really powerful on. Hold on. Oh, do I not have the option for that? Yeah, I don't have the option for that, do I? No, I do. Melee follow-up. I feel like, so here's the thing, I feel like warrior bows can be extremely, or probably extremely powerful if you are really good at the, at, at the melee combat and the close range combat. Part of the problem is I'm just not good at it. Um... And obviously, the, the little bit of that comes with practice, but a, but a lot of it is just the melee in the game it really is not amazing. Because, like, obviously you deal more range damage as if you do, like, a melee combo, then do a follow-up. 
with a with a ranged attack. And that's basically what warrior bows at sell at. Um but the problem is, like, I don't know, I always feel like if I'm using a bow, I should be trying to keep my distance from enemies. Because I have to take the time to aim and... And all that. I'm sure there are people who are... Not sure there are people who can, like, melee combo down a thunder jaw in combination... Or a slaughter spine in combination with fucking were without getting hit in combination with a, uh, or with a, with Karja's Bane. That ain't me. I am not good at this game by any means. Fine, we'll go over here and... Yeah, there's not really- they could have at least put a perch around here, man. Um, hey, I know it took a couple of hundred- a couple hundred hours, but I got the armor back. We saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that stormbird. Ah, uh, I see. A painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the Ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. She flew! I knew it. The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. She met a harsh fate. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. You, Outlander, come and trade. Tanakh Sky Climber. The Surya symbol number, the first Tanakh to take flight, granting increased concentration and consumable potency. I didn't realize I had this equipped. <laughs> Tanakh. Marshal, High Marshal, Reaver, Recon, Skirmisher. Oh, Sky Climber. Mmm. Eh. Not really amazing, in my opinion. I do, however, need to craft a bunch of ammo. What is the one thing that I can... I'm missing? Oh, strike through precision error. I've got it. Yeah, I need one. I need one more green trans lab. I also need the. <laughs> That's funny. We also need one luminous brainstem. Thunderjaw. Honestly, if I were to go kill two Abbot's Thunderjaws, we would be able to upgrade this. 
I don't know that it's really worth it, though. I accidentally put a marker down. Plus one food duration, potent medicine, concentration, plus two concentration, plus and one concentration region. Actually, not bad. Um, doesn't give any plasma defense, but at least you're not taking more damage from plasma. I still just think the Utaru Thresher with 41 plasma defense is just really, really good for how early you get it. That's four skill points down. That is, we have completed every single side quest in the game. The outlander has shown us. You must join the team. You're brave to show you. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Now. Can't decide if I should go do the machine strike stuff because that took a lot less time than I thought. You know what? Let's just go because we're going to have to go through end credits. And I feel like it'll be good to... Because I have no idea how long this is going to take and I feel like it... Like we'll be go we'll be able to go through end credits and... Or, or we'll, we have to go through... We'll have to go through ending credits and... Then once we actually start doing, then once we actually do the machine straight stuff and get the, we'll probably end up getting a good reward for that. We might end up getting some more, and we might end up getting some, some more stuff that we need to upgrade as well. So we'll just fast travel to the base. There's a new thing here. I see you, champion. Sit, please. There's someone in Arrowhand who's been looking for you, champion. Goes by the name of Moralo. Sounded like he had something important to discuss. I'll try to stop by Arrowhand when I can, then. Shining example. Meet Moralo at Arrowhand. I guess I was wrong. Um, to Arrowhand, I guess. Well, now I want to check the other settlements and see if there's anything there to eat as well. You said something what? about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. 
It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the green shine for yourself. Hmm. I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you. All of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. A cache of green shine could come in handy. Sounds like I'll have to fly up there. And a bomb from a Horus would make dealing with those machines a lot easier. Uh... Okay, that's... And there's the Horus. I was about to say, can I really not call, melt my flying mount while fall, while gliding down? So now I can fall up that mountain. But maybe I should follow that Tanakh's advice and get a bomb first. There's a Horus just southwest of the Osram in Vegas. I should have a bomb. Honestly, should have fast traveled. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think about it, but definitely should have fast traveled. Hidden Ember. Oh. That's okay, we can descend some. Oh yeah, there's also a... Uh, hold on. I don't remember where it was. There was a thing of green shine. On a building here in the desert. That we couldn't get to, um... Without flying. I just seem to remember it, because... I remember it pretty distinctly, because we spent a while trying to actually get it. over here? I don't see it and I don't know where else it would be. What? <laughs> Bunch of Apex machines. A bunch of really weak Apex machines. What the? There's the Horus. Time to pick up a bomb. Why are there sun wings and Apex bristle bass all around? Machines too. I 
I guess they're like, hey, in case you don't have a Sunwing somehow. I guess maybe people, maybe some people don't, aren't, or are like, oh, well, if the Sunwing gets destroyed, I'll just go grab another one. But, like, I'll take care of the sun, the sun wing that the game provides us with. Like... I have no, no qualms about doing that. Machines. Must be the spot Morello told me about. These bombs should come in handy. I got the fifth is with Vivi. Maybe the hunter killers. Time to drop that bomb. Gotta finish off those machines and pick up that green shine. <laughs> That's uh Not what I thought was going to happen. Well, not what I hoped was actually that's exactly what I thought was going to happen, but not what I hoped was going to happen. <laughs> Fight me. Ow. Howdy, come a little bit closer. Oh, this is not a fucking place for me to be at. Gotcha. Bam! You have unused coils and weaves. Yeah, I'm also not using. Yeah, and I'm like the. I'm also not using any weapons that aren't legendary at this point, basically. Why can't I grab this? <laughs> Yay, 
more sparkers. More stuff. More things that will aid us in our never ending quest to have more things so that I don't have to, so that we don't ever have to worry about obtaining uh, or about obtaining more things. Something's holding up. Definitely is weird to think about. We're we're constantly grabbing stuff so that we can have stuff on hand to create like ammo and other stuff and yet basically we're we're constantly grabbing stuff so that we can have the stuff to make more stuff. That seemed pretty easy, but I did use my ult. I just need to get past those vines. Why does this feel too easy? I thought this was too easy. No, no, no. This is gonna be tough. Nah. Draw my arrow, my bow back for some reason. I know it has stuff on it, but I'm just gonna hope that we don't end up needing it. I hope that's all the machines I have to deal with. Soldier to point me this way. I wasn't looking for thanks, but I'll take it. Nice. That gave us a fifth skill point to use as well. So we can actually mat out our hunter tree. So there's only four. So there's only 10 skills left in the game. Technically, we, uh, we actually have every skill. We just don't have the ults, uh, the Valor Surges matched out. Because, like, 100% extra damage on traps and tripwires is 
Not gr not great. 300% more melee damage. Not great. Although unlimited spear energy would be is pretty cool because you can um, chain together a bunch of radial blasts. Regaining 40 health a second per second, and having increased resistance is still not great, or, you know, not great. Uh, Defy Death just doesn't sound too great, because you're putting yourself in critical health for, 50, for a maximum of a 50% damage increase. Oh, I, hold on a second. I accidentally, I, I was stretching and accidentally. I like how this is like, oh, this is a playful de style defining ability. And I'm like, no, I just like the idea of dealing 1200 damage to a group of enemies because they're while they're all with it while they're all trying to melee rush me <laughs> now I feel like I need to go check other areas out real quick, like Lowlands Pass. Uh, for, for rumors. Just to see if there's anything else. See more green shine right here. Good yeah, boy. I just want to check around, um, I just want to check around to see if there's any other, side missions. So we now have five all defense plus three weebs. And that would be that would be crazy if I could equip all of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm stupid. I looked directly at this perch and did not think to utilize it. Tread carefully, Chamber. The lowlands are a dangerous place. I've got nothing to report. Alright, nothing there. Let's get to our stone crest. Um we'll fast travel there. I 
Figured it'd start snowing soon. It's a land for Japan. Today. Can you fell Regala as easily as the bulwark, Outlander? I did. Oh my gosh, this thing has been bothering this thing in my foot has been bothering me for like a couple of days now and I finally got it. <laughs> I finally got it. It's like a small little invisible piece of plastic or something that was just stuck in the bottom of my foot. <laughs> or like a small little invisible Piece of glass or something. You've earned your honor. If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must do so in battle with Rakala. Hey, stranger, huh? Are you looking for trade? Uh, I am not. Well, so. A couple of things. Like all of these. Quick little 2,000 shards, 2,300 shards actually. My strength is yours. Good day, Outlander. The Outlander has shown. Um. Trying to figure out I, I I just want to go around real quick really, really quickly and make sure that there's nothing else pop that has popped up. At least I'm trying to help. How? By making yourself right. Karja. By learning to hunt. So I can defend harmony. our home, our, our people. Fields. Why should it matter if I again. learn that from a Karja? Because they're all poisonous weeds! Mark my words, girl. One day you'll see how outlanders have nothing to offer but misery. Then you'll realize what a fool you've made of yourself. What do you know? You're just a bitter old root. Okay. From one hunter to another. Well, that seemed relevant. I feared I would not get a chance to I do not you. trust you. This harvest Leo and Ven may not be our brightest kin, but they are Utari. Thank you for saving us. Hi, Aloy. My wound's better, so I'm gonna head to the hunting grounds near Plainsong. Oh, that... Okay, we, this is someone we have already... Helped, I guess. Ah, yeah, this lady over here. Hey there, Red. Hey, Red. I'll let you know if I hear anything interesting. Well, honestly, I imagine those all work off of. Honestly, it's entirely possible these guys all work off of the same system. But maybe not. Uh, let's go check Legacy's landfall real quick. Just make absolutely sure. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> 
<laughs> there was someone here who would tell me about rumors, but I don't remember where they are. I feel so nice not having some of that whatever that was poking my foot anymore. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I guess we needed to do that green sh that last green shine uh, quest. Saw new dialogue. Yeah, hey, uh, Mr. Know It All is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. With Regal out of the way, Ikaro and Tanak, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. Mm -hmm. But if I've learned anything about them, it is not a battle I am going to win. All right. 
Great. Oh, uh, before I forget, I watered those plants for you. Huh? I just know they meant a lot to you, and uh, I, well. Thank you, Drew. You know, I'm stupid. I was gonna say, what does Beta have to say about everything? Uh, Beta is currently being held by Far Zenith. Aloy, it appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. You're training? Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Commands. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? The Zenith? Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's... Definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Uh, you can only have one or two. Silence is definitively an asshole. He sold us out to the far zine. It's almost got us killed several times and betrayed us. Um, for, to, like, capture, to capture Hades. It's, uh, Silence has not been Aloy, a trustworthy guy. You came I back with some interesting us. friends. I wish I could say we don't need them, but Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. Companions? I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping he'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Zenith's. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. Your training. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bolts trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. Later. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Oh, it's Katana. Did you need something? I didn't expect you to be in here. Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success, perhaps I'm willing to be generous. Uh, about the Quen? While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? 
Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? They're on Thebes. So those run-ins with the Quinn I mentioned. On one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. Mm. Your plan? Okay, so your big plan, everything you've been manipulating for the last few months. Let me see if I got this straight. You learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it. Then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon. And to get the Tanakh to fight for you, you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be... extreme. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice, no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation. At the Hades Proving Lab. The Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenith at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, that that's fine to describe that uh, to describe it that way because because it's like that's like he's not like devaluing beta or anything why create the sons of prometheus <laughs> he's saying his intelligence wasn't to make override tech as good as it they were a necessary safeguard my time serving hades and the eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved through the sons of prometheus i could execute my plans all while remaining anonymous. Except to a Sarah. You and a Sarah. How did you get a Sarah to work for you? I knew there was an associate of the Asaram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised her Regala and the Tanakhth. The Sarah would help you create a machine writing army and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. Until I came along and ruined everything. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave like effect covering a significant distance. <sighs> that doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Why help Regala take You can over? describe it without If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with the Karja. 
Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, he can, you know, kind of explain what it was without going fully into the mechanics of it. Like, how, like, what's the range on the wave? Alright, Silence, I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah, I'm aware. Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Did you see Kakala's new arm? I never thought I'd see metal bound to flesh in that way. Yeah, he seems happy with it. Probably because he could crush me like a grapefruit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That is a happy thought. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Two Thunderjaw Tails, a Stormbird Storm Cannon, Gold Ingots. Where did... I mean, I guess they just gave us these things. Yeah. You... you flew? Kotalo told me! And took out Regala's machines? <laughs> you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. And completely into her rebellion so by myself? And a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here. Our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Yeah, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command, too? Guess the more the merrier. <laughs> Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The Silence. He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. <laughs> I'd need to wrap up a few I think that's more the Banook Stay sharp. than anything else, though. Cause they literally live by the survive by the motto of survive, prevail, what else matters.
I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. So, our enemy is immortal. Most of my people don't survive past 30. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten, and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Uh, to Matt. Oh, jeez. Uh, the Wings of the Ten. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky for us. To imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now... You have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. I can only imagine. Uh, the Zeniths? Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. Uh, more likely just bounce right off of her force field. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though... I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. That was the wrong word. He said that. He said uh, the subtitle was T H E N and not T H A N. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around. But I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so, I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Katalo. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. My back is hurting strangely. There you are. Hello, Tilda. They could re they well done, Aloy. Really couldn't just sort that to Tilda. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less. And I wanted more. And... 
That's how we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. You and Elizabeth? Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant, visionary. She cared so deeply for the world, for the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth, back in the Proving Lab, after Farzineth's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She... said something... after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time? I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. Your house? Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter, to a safe place, not just cultural oh, okay, art. Yeah, truly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been through yes. this. I thought if she could, it would bring a hair to data beam. I'm sorry, I had to cut off con. She needed its sh your time with the Zeniths? You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths. That you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. Both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I think we've been through this one. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Maybe not. Hence the data channel with Beta. The secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. The other Zenith's. The Verbena. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths. Verbena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amass their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What? Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. <sighs> Hold on, I have something... ...stabbing my foot again. And it's caught in my sock. <clears throat> okay. I think I got it. Stanley Chen? When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. I think he was a zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. 
He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. Tell me about Eric Visser. So, Eric, was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of us tribe believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world. Then they would be quite disappointed to meet him, though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. And probably while killing. What well, can you of tell them? me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such, had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzineth. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough, and the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. So here's my problem. Surely they recovered, or surely they've like recovered data from Verbena's, um, I guess focus for lack of a better word, or for lack of a better like, surely they recovered data from Verbena as to how her okay, shield was taken down. so I've down. had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Murjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. What's in the Zenith base? When it's base? time to break into the Zenith base, what can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years, Luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment. We've learned our lesson. Silence Have you weapon? figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, 
I am confident it will deactivate the other shields en masse. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Tilda's gonna die, isn't she? Elizabeth and Tilda had a history. The more I learn about her life, the more... Complicated, it seems. I guess she saw something good in Tilda. I don't know what exactly, but it seems like it was enough. For a while, at least. Uh, okay, let's see. Headset. I want to see if there's anyone ah, yep I had a feeling this place smells horrible no sand or wind only cold steel and the others up there your squad they can hold their own. As for this base, it may not be what you're used to, but it is a shelter. Call it what it is, a cage. You came here on your own. For the battle you promised. So for now I wait in my cage for your word. Tell me when to strike. Your deal with Cylons? The deal you made. Override tech in exchange for an assault on the Zenith base. How did Cylons approach you? Their name means nothing to me. My agreement was with the Asarama Sarah and her sons of Prometheus. So all this time, you didn't even know who you were really dealing with? And you trusted an Outlander? If it was a trick, I would have crushed her. But she spoke with the same burning hatred for the Karja. And she offered me the chance to run them down with machines. The terror in your enemy's eyes when they see you charge. You know what I'm talking about. I bet you've felt it. I don't think so. What about your end of the deal? Would you have honored it? Had I killed Akaro and become chief? These Zeniths would have been the first of the tribe's victories, but because of you, my people will continue to consort with the enemy. A tribe of weaklings. <laughs> because of me, hundreds of Tanakhs won't throw away their lives in a battle they can't win. <laughs> no, I, they literally can't damage. You don't understand. They literally can't damage them. You. You want to find out? Go try slapping Tilda around with your weapon. It will literally just bounce off of her. The whole time I've been in the West, I've been fighting you and your rebels. I'd at least like to know why. You were among the enemy. What more is there to know? Why did you do it? Dorok, Jiroka, Makab. And the Karja pushed into the desert to raid our people. My brother's squad was among the first to intercept them. But the Karja captured them, strung them up, and burned them alive as an example. It was too late. I found them by the sound of their screams. So you wanted vengeance? Vengeance? No. 
I wanted devastation. To tear down the Karja's cities and drown the land in blood. Hunt down every last survivor and grind their bones until the sky chokes on the dust. But my chief betrayed me. Betrayed the Tanakh. Betrayal. How did Hikaro betray you? Hikaro called on the clans to resist the Karja's red raids. But we did more than just defend. We hunted them. And they fled as children before a pack of claw striders all the way to their border. There we ripped down their stone walls. Their domain was ours for the taking. But when it came time to push on, Hikaro ordered us to fall back. What soldier retreats when slaughter is at hand? The kind who wants peace for their people. Peace is just a lull between vendettas. But I thought my chief had greater tactics than mine, so I stood by him, even when he allowed that filthy Karja to join our ranks. Fashav. I enjoyed watching him die at the embassy. He should have been put down when we first captured him on the field. Instead, he Hikaro made him a marshal. Fashav told me how he became a marshal. He earned it just like any Tanakh. It was an insult. No outlander can ever deserve to wear our armor, bear our marks. Mm -hmm. And then a Karja messenger was brought to the forest. That's when I knew. I had to run my blade through a Karu and drag his treacherous corpse to the Gates of the sun. The Karja messenger. What happened when a Karja messenger appeared before Hikaro? The quivering priest bore a message from their new king. No more war. No more raids. Suddenly the Karja wanted to talk peace. An embassy at the very fortress we tore down. A true Danak would never take a Karja truce. Their blood exists to be spilled. But Akaro lapped up the priest's message. He showed himself a Karja loving traitor when he accepted. That's when I challenged him. And lost. His mercy was just another sign of his weakness. I vowed never to rest until the debt was repaid with him on his knees before me. So with an army of soldiers and machines at my back, I returned. The day you got in my way. Battle on the Zeniths. Are you really going to fight alongside me? I have no reason to betray you. Really? I failed to kill Hakaro. Failed to eliminate you. No Tanakh would follow me now. The Karja remain out of my reach, cowering behind their walls. All I have left are the screams of those long dead and unending rage. So show me where to bury it. All right. I guess we'll both face the end soon enough. Ever since you got in my way, I've wanted to see your bones burned white beneath the sun. But if I'm to die in battle, then it might as well be with the one who flew with the wings of the ten. I'll let you know when it's time to move out. I think that's it. That is, yeah, that's all of our new um, acquaintances. I say very, I say in the very, like, loosest of definitions of acquaintance. So, you would. Yeah, I have to make an arrow.
Actually, a couple of arrows. Let's go grab my stash and restock. Um, not a kid, guy to await. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is there anything I should handle before that? Nope. We finished the story. We're finishing the story in that three. All right, people, I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. I really wish Aloy would. Where's the best place to run? Tell uh, would on the coast, just across from the island. Like, Once there, I'll show you the way. I really wish I knew what what Aloy was talking about too. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Sans is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. Oh, 
we've already spoken to the to our companions, but I guess we can talk to them a second time. Hi, apparently you Something have new else? dialogue. Regala. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's battling machines and fostering, even if I gained his, he would never agree to. So helping a blood. Yes. All Regala craved was war. She would have led the tribe in which was precise. Are you ready? I'll be going. As you. I. I'm so confused. Just you wait. We're finally doing it. Never thought I'd be Oops. off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. You're training? If that one's not working right, you can have one of my spare focuses, you know. Yeah, little bugger's got some personality, that's all. You just saved my butt a couple of times now. It wouldn't feel right to leave it behind. You know, besides, it, uh, now it goes with my outfit. Wouldn't want to spoil your look. Companions? Oh, made the right call. You know, bringing you here. Thanks. Yeah, borrow. You know, I never knew he had a sister. I found out a few days before you guys went to, to Gemini. I was, uh, well, to be honest, I was terrified I'd screw up the mission somehow. So he sat me down for a drink, just one, mind you. And we talked about family, Vala, Ursa, loss and revenge, and how you helped us. You know, we never did get that drink you promised back in the embrace. And you never told me exactly how your sister escaped the Mad Sun King. I guess we never got round to it. World ending and all. Mm -hmm. No time like the present, though. If you're up for it. Should we have a drink? You think it's time for us to finally have that drink? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, y yeah, you need the the actual drink there, Erend. <laughs> so, how did Ursa escape Mad Sun King Drawn's palace? <laughs> well, uh, first she had to survive the Sun Ring. See, during the war, the Karja threw a prisoner a day in there. And, you know, for what? To die as sacrifices, fighting machines in a pit. Thinking somehow that was gonna appease all the other deranged machines in the world? Ha! And when it was Ursa's turn, the Karja thought she'd go down if they threw a big machine at her. Oh, but she didn't. And she defeated all of them. She even got some of Jaron's kestrels for good measure. And the mad Sun King was impressed, I guess. Thought it'd be funny to have her run around his palace as a servant. He enjoyed humiliating her. Why are you telling me something about that? That's how she met Avad. He helped her escape. Yeah, but, but what no Karja scroll will ever tell you is how the young prince snuck Ursa out of the palace. He knew their best chance was to get Ursa to blend in, so he got her everything she needed to disguise herself as a Karja noblewoman. I have perfumes, veils, and all. I get the feeling she wasn't too happy with that. Oh, man, Ursa would have rather fought her way out of that palace with her bare hands than put on all of that Karja eye paint. But Avad insisted it was the only way, so she agreed under one condition. Avad had to dress up as well. She made Avad dress up like a noblewoman? That's as funny. As perfumed and powdered as a babe. Ursa said he looked better like that than he ever did in a crown. <laughs> that would uh, definitely make for an interesting sight. Oh, I worked like a charm, too. Not only did they make it out of the palace, they paid a traveling merchant to get Ursa to the border, and none were the wiser. Oh, 
You were right. That was a story best told over a drink. All good stories are. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Right, so I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. You're training everyone here. Training, working together. If it weren't for Varl, none of it would have happened. You know, there was this one night, right before Varl left with you to go to Gemini, he realized I was having trouble sleeping. I was nervous about the mission. To be honest, I think we both were. So, he asked me to join him in Gaia's dome. He brought up this hologram of Earth that you two found back in the Zenith launch facility. We sat there. Just looking at it. I thought about how Plainsong was just a speck on that great sphere. How every corner of it must be teeming with life. And dangerous machines or... Any fears I had about our mission were gone. I miss him terribly. I know. You and Aaron seem to be on better terms now. He may have terrible taste in music, but he did apologize for mocking my tribe. And that ale he keeps raving about isn't half bad. I still plan on beating that stubborn face of his to break our sparring stalemate. Try not to hurt him too bad. Maybe don't spar while you're pregnant. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? That's some very Shakespearean Nervous? tragedy, uh, I'm not lying. right? I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. Zeniths? The rest of us should be enough of a distraction to the Zeniths for you to hack into their network undetected. But you'll have to be quick in case they do. Uh, what exactly do you expect me to find, Aloy? I don't know. The truth, if we're lucky. Once all this is over, will you go back across the ocean? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more worried I become. If I go back, I don't even know if they'd let me keep this focus you gave me, or what they'd do to me for reading what is clearly forbidden data. Even if I somehow were allowed to carry on my duties as a diviner, would I be willing to let the truths I've learned about the Ancestors be buried away by the Board of Overseers? Would I dare challenge them and risk my family's safety? Or losing Adara? Uh, your training? Who's this Federa you mentioned? She is another diviner. One of our best. We used to be rivals at the academy. <laughs> I hated her guts, but apparently there is a fine line between hate and love. We became very close, and then I was assigned to the expedition. She promised she'd wait for me, no matter how long it took. Well, that was smart of her. She won't do any better. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do. 
companions. I want you to know I'm glad you're with us, Alva. Whatever happens, I'm grateful that the legacy brought us together. I never thought I'd get to actually meet an ancestor. Come on, do I look that old? At least he's talking about Tilda. Katala will protect you inside the Zenith base. I'm not afraid. I know Katala will fulfill his duty, as will I. If we die doing so, at least it'll be alongside a friend. I'd rather you both stay alive, if you don't mind. We'll try and keep that in mind. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Uh, let's see, that's where silence is. Welcome back, Aloy. Would you like to continue our chat? You... other units now? I should be going. I'll be making... Yeah, no, there, there's not actually anything new here. Hold on, there is new stuff over here, though. Oh, I miss Moral. Still hurts to think about him. I don't know if the pain will ever really go away. When I find that bastard, Eric, I'm gonna make him pay. Yeah, that's still really weird that Vola got stabbed in like the in like his gut and just immediately killed over dead. <laughs> He didn't, like, slowly bleed out or anything like so, that. how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. Oh, and by the way, I was hoping now would be a good time to go back to the Tremor Tusk site and test my new arm, before we leave on our mission. Right. I'll let you know when I can make my way there. Thank you. Oh, new... Side now mission, huh? time is over. What's on your mind? The Bulwark, the Kulrut, and how we need another miracle if we're to survive the Zenith base. I'll try not to let you down. I know you will not. We didn't really get to talk about what happened at Gemini. There was nothing more to say. If he were to knock, Varl's bravery would have earned him sacred burial at the Grove, among the most distinguished of our tribe's warriors. His deeds were worthy of the Ten. When the fight is done, I will have the Inkers etch his memory on my skin, so that it may live on. I'm sure he'd be honored. I'll see you soon, then. It will be my honor. Hmm. So he wants to go... to the Tremor Test site. That's weird, because it didn't pop up anything to go... Oh, that's the rendezvous point? Jeez, I did not expect that. Um...
He wants to go where we first, where we fought. Was it here? I don't remember. Because he wants, he wants us, to, he wants to go where we fought their trimmer tusks for Rebe Rargala's rebellion. But like, none of the Tremor Dust sites we have marked, or we have on the map, are that. Maybe that's just a weird dialogue bug? Yes, Ayla. Do the people are cured. None more than she couldn't wait. I gave her hope in. Good luck with it. I have to go. I will see you on the. Okay, yeah. That's weird. I feel like that should have definitely popped up another optional objective of go to the Trevor Tusk site. Cause I think we already did. Cause we already did the uh, tremor tusk thing, right? Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. So unless he's wanting to go test it out again for some reason. But that implies that, like, he never tested it out the first time. Going down. Keep your eyes open out there, soldier. Yeah, I don't remember where exactly that Tremor Tusk site was at first. Or was. I'm just gonna assume that that's a weird dialogue bug. Where Catalo, for some reason, checks, uh, doesn't check that the, um, quest is completed correctly or something. you pass this point, you'll be locked into singularity and the open world will become unavailable for the duration of the quest. I... What? How do I... I don't have the option to say no here, actually. There is no press circle to cancel, press square to cancel. Alright, yeah, we, we just don't even have the option to say you no. Know. Okay, here we go. 
Call your companions. No way back. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Excuse me. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. Thank goodness it just cut. <laughs> oh my, we are still There's nowhere the close. Tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is there. Oh, there will be specters second. guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Hey, we're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. We're having very minor audio hiccups. Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Hang on, I had to fucking reset the game. Cause the audio broke. Nope. It just completely broke when it cut out for that little second. Cause apparently my Apparently, H my monitor is dumb and can't process HDMI signal correctly. I don't know where this. The time has come to assault the scene of the base for you guys and Beta and Gaia to save life on Earth because Oz, Aloy, and Oz must prevail. Okay. Thank goodness it saved Get to the launch at this tower point. as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Um We 
Beware, Aloy. Spectres ahead. Company. Follow my lead. That's what I do. Acid could work against that machine. Well, I'll just leave it here then. Live long, kill your enemies. Oh, what the hell? I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. stuff. Ooh, also sludge. Raptor has some stuff. There's just a lot of stuff here. The audio broke again. Um, what am I looking for? We should move on. Just break again? It did. Oops. Oh, this sucks. Fucking everything was running fine and then. Okay, everything's working perfectly fine, and then for some reason there's one, there's like a half a frame of an audio hiccup, and suddenly the game, and suddenly it's like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Good news, it's saved after we killed the Spectres. Bad news, it might not. We might have not have. Let's climb up to it. We, bad news, we might not have kept the drops from the Spectres.
What's in this backpack, Metal Bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. Sky Drifter. It's creepy in here. Don't worry, I'll protect you. I don't know why we wouldn't just climb up, like, right here, honestly. Other than the fact that there's, like, an invisible wall. I wish I had a glider. I guess I'll find another way. Yep. The midnight bloom. There's a lot of dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another specter. Sneak or fight. You choose. It's here when you want. Not fear, but it'll do. That's funny, she's talking, uh, shit about the Osiram. What's that? Stormbird? I guess so. It's like an old-timey Stormbird. Game, I swear. Oops, not what I meant to do. Um. Tired yet? Yep. Uh, that's fair. You're looking around a presumably very, very, very heavy piece of machinery. Yeah. These plants are weird. Don't worry, I got them. Flower down. We're through. What am I hearing? We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. The Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess uh, that dead one What the? Can, you know. <laughs> yeah, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the whole world. Oh, yeah. Good times. <laughs> I mean, I guess all things considered, there um, that is significantly less to worry about. More specters ain't coming great. Uh, more specters. 
I'll attack with you. Oh, this ain't. Keep them coming. This is uh, not working the way I Hit hoped it would. Spot. Where's the ammo at? I like the sound of ammo. Howdy! Howdy! Oh geez, Aaron's down. Aloy, over here. Yep, I'm on it. Pick him up. Okay. There's enough. Take this and take him down. You got his weak spot. And another one down. Ow, what the fuck? <laughs> I think that's all of them. That's it. Get out of here, at least. Let's push on. Ugh. Find anything? Yeah. Alright, um... Aaron just showing me... Oh, plasma! Use plasma! Use plasma! Fucking... Meanwhile, we're getting just all kinds of beat up. Is we going down there? Kind of looks like it. Let me see if there's any more heels around, though. Yep. Here, up this rock. Oh, really? Up the rock? Not what I thought. Um... Hello, game? <laughs> I got stuck. Anything from the Thunderjaw? Of course not. Uh, oh, there is medicine here. Huh? And some hunter, one single hunter arrow. Because I guess the game, for some reason, thinks that I need hunter, that I'm using hunter arrows, even though I'm using. 
a full wheel of gold weaponry. Awesome. Also, that didn't quite go as well as I'd hoped it would. I'm gonna have to climb around this corner. I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. Go as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. All right. Spectres do the Zeniths have? Well, then we want to fight at once, that's for sure. I'm not sure what's going on with Aaron over there. Um, oh, come on, go. up the slab. Regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's gotta be a way through. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like the others have things under control. Uh, you shoot like a This is- I like this. This is me. Take some ammo. Go down, you miserable pile of junk. We got an assist. It's actually really funny. Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy, I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? Oh. Those are slaughter spines. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hephaestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. Now we can crank our machines to its heart's content. Tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt fit back to the Cauldron Network. 
We grabbed it once. We'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. With the Apollo database. Maybe, but I don't know if we would have if we would have the time for that because the world is ending due to ramp due to machine because so remember um the world is the reason for all the blight and stuff is because there were so many basically all the machines that are currently around are supposed to be keeping like the blight and stuff in check they're supposed to be regulating the environment and all that such uh, and making sure that you know the world doesn't fall into a complete environmental collapse. However, because Hephaestus is rogue, that means that... That means that it is, um... That a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. Hey. I guess not all the specters are turning our machines. Ah, oh, that would have made it nice and easy. Anyway, as I was saying, um, basically, TLDR, the, the machines are supposed to make the world not destroyed. Oh, we traded. Okay. But yeah, basically the the world is ending because Hephaestus has gone rogue, and in order to fit, put the world make the world safe again, we have to make the world no longer. We have to bring get so and Baldi back. are fighting another spectre up there. I think they can handle it. I don't know. They're uh, they're looking kind of low. Oh, uh, but we okay. I guess have another one to deal with, huh? I don't know how this specter is so stupid. Hi, I'm right here. You wanna chase the nits? I mean, if he wants to just keep running around, I'm content to let him just run around. That's what I'm doing. Ooh! I can keep going. Definitely, um... Jump. To the right, I think. Uh, yeah, not really anything else we can do for it. And now to the left. One specter was just like, ah. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. 
The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy. Uh, well, I'll hurry as soon as I'm done collecting as much stuff as I can. Another one. Not the first one we fought. Well, probably won't be the last one we fight. I'm done. As do I. Ow! What the fuck? My my dodge didn't work. My dodge didn't work. That's twice. Good work, everyone. Let's go. Please two? Yes. Actually, I have the, the perk that gives us two, I think. Now that I think about it, anyway. Fight uh, the four zeniths, I guess. Come on, let's go. <gasps> this way, demon. This is still alive under there. I heard her scream. Please. She cared enough for peace. At least she died on her own terms. Now it's her part. Oblivion draws no such distinctions. I mean, he's not wrong. Have you been to Oblivion? Intense. A Catalo got me to a network node. I'm trying to get in. Keep at it. We're almost to the tower. Oh no, Regala is dead. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Basically, the main antagonist died fighting the even more main antagonists. been causing all the fuss. Matilda's little pet. Okay, that's a plasma weapon. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze through the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No? Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! Are we supposed to be scared? 
Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? Love and I failed to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? I should really change my armor because we're running into a bunch of slaughter spines. Because we're definitely going to have to fight the other guy. So let's equip uh, some armor that won't have us taking 5% extra damage to plasma. And instead we'll go with the, I guess, the Utara Winter Weed because... Uh, because that guy very clearly the top of the tower. fired a plasma beta. gun at us. You can as fast as you can. Oh yeah, this is boss fight territory. Grab all these. Or Zenith Repository. Well, we can't interact with that, which is okay. An elevator. Promising. Yo, you should have stabbed me. That was your mistake, allowing me to have plot armor. I need a shield to take you out. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. Catch! This is blood. Well, I get. I guess machine body. If you okay? I will be. Can I take his gun th yeah. gauntlet thingy? Rescue your sister. I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Yeah. Uh, that was very anticlimactic. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize my nuke would just instant kill him, but. That did 3,600 damage, so he's definitely got, like, a weakness to shock. Because it's supposed to deal 1,200. Like, see? Blast damage, 1,200 shock build up, 600. 
So, he definitely took some kind of, like, he definitely had some kind of weakness to electricity. Which is funny, because the first thing we tried when we encountered him at the Proving Lab was we tried to lay some shock trip wires, and... Because I, because I'm like, oh, shield. It'll probably be if I hit him, you know, with shock trip wires or with shock ammo. It'll probably overload the shield and cause it to turn off or shut down or whatever. And then they're just like, oh, let's just give him. And then I guess the devs were like, oh, let's just give him a weakness to shock anyway. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that, uh, but that, because that guy probably wasn't, like, the final, final boss. That was probably the second to last boss. But, you know, maybe he is just straight up the final, final boss. In Zero Dawn, it was a death bringer, but. Man, this is like Mass Effect 1 elevator slow amounts of levels of slow. Um. I guess we're good with what we've got, though. Looks like the machines and specters have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including a lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. Oh, I... Can I call Sunwing and just fly up? They already know we're here. Like, the... Element of surprise is not really necessary. Also, how is she going to leave? Because we got... How is Zoe going, going to leave from down there? Because she... We... Well, we got down there via the elevator here. Alright, well... Once, it's, once he wasn't immortal. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have does a make lot sense. of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. She's okay. What is a... A great... Wait, Nemesis, are we fucking... Isn't that the... Zombie from Resident Evil 3? Oh, what the... Hey, we're, hey, we're leaving the play area by going slightly over this way, I guess. Yeah, because it's Resident Evil, Resident Almost Evil there. 2, and then Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Uh, I think that's the only one that has, like, a subtitle, isn't it? Because, um, 
Etz. I think Mr. Etz was the was Tyrant Virus? I don't remember. It's been too long since I've played those more classic Resident Evil games. Either way, there's a... E either way, if we're dealing with space zombies, uh, I don't know if Aloy's ready for that. <laughs> I could have pull caster my way up there. This is it. End of the line. We trigger the console and it just doesn't open the door. Scan it first, Aloy. Focus, scan it first. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. Are down all over the base. This feels too I easy. Be able to take advantage of. Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Oh, good. More aliens. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are astronomical. Oh no, did they make another Hades? The disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy, and you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped right. alone so for decades with only the twisted it is another echoes Hades, of megalomaniacs basically. for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us. Including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when okay. that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. They, they could have. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia. 
so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. I don't... that monstrosity could never find us. I think you understand. It, it doesn't what? just work like that. No. You know that it doesn't work like that. I Tell her what? More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. This makes no... This... Now she stands before me again. What? Not some inferior copy. This makes but no her sense. Best possible self. Oh, that's so fucked I'm up. Not asking. You're coming with me. You don't have a shield, Tilda. Remember that. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. That's her shield is super blatant, isn't better. it? Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover. Get to the door. Spectre Prime, the ultimate for Zenith Etzo Prime, making you morph into multiple forms while gold armor like plates can become devastating weapons and gravitationally reattach when torn off. Weak to acid and plasma, strong versus shock. You're holding back, or I can do some damage. I better scan that thing first. Yeah, oh, way ahead of you, Aloy. Oh. Ow, what the fuck? Okay, that's fire. Fire bad for my ice outfit. Right, Toru, Winter Weave is slightly weak to fire, yep. Ah. This specter was designed to survive against more than that. Hang on, I need to... Okay, I just hit it for like 500-something damage. I need to look at this thing's weak points. Um, plasma unit, siege mortar, pulse cannons, resource repository, nanoplates, shock unit, explosive... It's only accessible during attacks or when the nanoplate covering has been removed. Control Nexus. Okay, so this thing's got all kinds of weak points, basically. I just need to... I do that. Cannot. Okay, that did a lot. I can target its gold plating. Yeah, I'm working on it, Aloy. Now live! Oh. Much better. 
Are you kidding me? I knew you didn't really want to hurt me. I mean, you should know that considering it was a clone of Elizabeth. Showing up. Put that thing's armor. A few more hits. Execute attack pattern Sigma. I don't know what attack pattern Sigma is, but get. Plasma blasted, lady. Ow. There we go. Instant burning chance, are you kidding me? Yeah, that really is kinda that I don't like how that ended up going. Um Cause Tilda already should like knows that, the, that that's not how it works. If if they're if if it was able to track them from Sirius to Earth I guess it would be working off of prior knowledge that Earth exists and the course that they used to reach Earth, but they wouldn't have had any way. But it wouldn't have had any way of knowing for sure that it came to Earth. So, or that they came to Earth and instead just fled to went ahead and fled to a distant star, to another you know distant star system. Like, I don't like how that played out. That felt like they were. We're like, oh well, we need to get rid of all the far zeniths just because we want, we, just because we don't want them running around in the future potentially. But like now we ha still have the threat of Nemesis, which is basically Hades, which is basically a copy of Hades. Unless for some reason it's like, oh, all the far zeniths are dead. Well, okay, bye. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's basically like a souped up version i think nemesis is, is pro it seems like in, in, like they were trying to imply that nemesis was just a souped up version of hades that would was going to destroy all life on earth also it's hilarious to me that they gave us another instant burn chance i forgot what has the instant burn chance if anything Um, put in sit burn on something. Although I'm not sure how I managed to detonate the plasma thing. Oh, I put it on this. Okay. I'm not sure how I managed to decim to do the plasma thing. I must have blown up like a component on it to trigger the plasma blast. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along. Silence, you've got to stop. Yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. Why do people keep secrets like tell that? Me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. 
The deal would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakt. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey in the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. Are you, you... can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Are you... Silence, how are you this stupid? I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off? And abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? They didn't have two if copies of Elizabeth Sobek running around. Abandoning life, you'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. Found her. Is she hurt? Still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. Uh, so we got the copy of Apollo and Gaia back, right? She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Yeah, uh, bigger threat. We need to get ready to go. Uh. I can't wait till Horizon 3 Nemesis. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent I just said you idea. liked that ale. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. It's not. Do you not see the giant red mass of, amalga of amalgamation of stuff hurtling towards the planet at probably light speed? There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. What? Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they always know what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. to solve any problem. Courage. 
courage to overcome any obstacle. And the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. We have... Awesome, we have every... subordinate function, well, aside from two. Oh, are we actually flying? We are actually flying, I think? No, no, we're not actually flying. And these are the credits, I guess. Ah, yeah, this is just a... Uh, In-engine cutscene, basically. That's fine. Can I look around? I cannot look around. Yeah, that actually took longer than I thought. Mostly because we had the, those couple of side missions to knock out as well. Um, along with a couple of uh, technical hiccups. Set, namely the audio breaking like it has been doing pretty much this entire time. The this game this game's really I mean this game was really fun. Um it It definitely solved a lot of the uh, I don't know. I'm a little mixed on it because it solved a lot of the problems that Zero Dawn had where like, oh, there's a, just four, you know, machines melee spamming me me at, or melee spamming at me and I just can't fucking fight because if I try to fight I'm gonna get you know hit by one of the four machines that are melee combo spamming me um but it also added its own issues kind of sort of where like first off a lot of the some of the elemental stuff felt kind of tacked on like attacked on afterthought like glue for instance we never, I don't think we ever used glue outside of like that one time when we, when we shot, aside from this session where we very specifically destroyed the sack on a glue, on a downed glue bellow bag to fight um, those three specters at that one point <laughs> in the, um, we definitely used, we definitely tried to use glue, but we it just didn't really do anything. Obviously, it's supposed to like slow the movements of machines and you know stuff like that. But for the most part, like just all, for the most part, like all, all I feel like we really needed was freezing and bolt blaster, and we were or freezing arrows and bolt blaster, and we were really good um i don't know how plasma felt like it uh well plasma felt like it was a really weird addition because first off it was overpowered if we get it felt o overpowered if we were taking if we took plasma damage even with like a big reduction to plasma damage, but then when we would put it on enemies, it would deal like maybe a tenth of their health. So that was really weird and annoying, and obviously the plasma blast, like, it would deal, uh, like, it had a, a, a damage cap. I feel like plasma would have been much better if the damage that enemies could take was not just hard capped at a certain amount um 
acid replacing corruption. I mean, that acid seemed fine. A a acid seemed like a secondary fire, basically. Purge water, we never fucking use purge water. Like, the only times we would ever really use purge water would be, oh, I'm fighting a tire gripper, and I blew up its purge water sack because, it because that was also a weak point that we were targeting. Uh... I know it's supposed to, like, prevent enemies from, you know, using other elements. And I think it's supposed to cause a weakness to shock as well. Or, like, cause it to where they take more shock buildup. Um. I don't know. Um. Obviously, Fire, Ice, and Shock are all still fine. Like, I don't, I don't know. And then we get to the issue with the weapons. Her Horizons... So here's the thing. Horizon Zero Dawn already had too many weapons. All this did was it took that, that problem of... Oh, there's kind of way too many weapons in this. And it made it way worse because now it's like oh now i have a hunter bow a purge water hunter a hunter bow for you know like a couple of elements uh, another hunter bow for a couple of a couple more elements like and like like even at the end we we had fire shock acid um ice and plasma on, like, three separate weapons, which isn't, I guess isn't too, too bad, but, like, but, like, there was also the issue of, like, some of the ammo felt redundant, like the seeker-hunter arrows, for instance. I, I feel like those would have been better if they were just, like, a hunter version of the, the precision tear arrows, like, you know, hunter tear arrows. Boom. Perfectly fine. It's... Oops, I hit circle uh, on my controller. Um, Hunter Tear Arrows. It's perfectly fine. You know, perfectly fine. You know, they basically are weaker versions of the sharp shot ones, but it's like, oh, you know, this is just, you know, we, this is just something you can use so you don't have to just switch weapons every single time that you want to do, uh, use a tear arrow. Or so you don't have to switch to a sharp shot. Or so you don't have to, like, change up your weapon wheel every time you want to use a sharp shot, or a, um, tear arrow. Um. Advanced or plasma arrows and advanced plasma arrows instead of uh, being on forge fall, instead of just being advanced precision arrow, advanced plasma arrow, and advanced, uh, strike through arrow. That was also a really weird one. Um, there's no instant shot. Well, actually, no coil. There, but instead, there's two instant ignite coils. Um, I'm not really sure what the explosive coil's supposed to do because we never really tried it out. But that just feels weird. Um. Having explosive bolts and actually, I think there were strike through bolts. Um, uh, in um, or on the on the blast forge. Um, I mean, obviously, obviously, by the end of it, we had a really easy time because we had all kinds of um. We had a whole bunch of legendary weapons and armor and stuff. I really wish this was interactive. But like I'm but like I'm pressing like I'm moving the control stick and nothing's happening. Um as far as the combat, the combat is still I mean like it might just be because I'm not, like, really good at the combat, but it, the combat still feels really, really 
subpar compared to other games with good combat. Like, perfect example, I'm playing Tears of the King I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom alongside this, as people who follow who've been following my channel know. Um Tears of the Kingdom has really, really good combat. Especially because it doesn't have the RNG factor of, oh, I put my, the center crosshair on this enemy and fired my, and shot my bow, and then the arrow just fucking went to the left or to the right and completely missed the part that I was targeting. Whoops, that's, I bumped my, I kicked my desk accidentally. Um, and yeah, overdrawing can kind of, can somewhat correct that, but like, it's, it, there, there's still just the fact, the fact of, out of, if I aim my arrow, or if I, if I, you know, fire an arrow, I understand, you know, oh, I, in real life, it wouldn't go exactly where you, you know, it probably wouldn't go exactly where you aim it, because they, in real life, arrows will move to the left or to the right due to how, due to, you know, arrow, the laws of aerodynamics and stuff like that. And, you know, I understand that, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a video game, let me put, let my arrows hit the center of the fucking reticle where I'm aiming at. <laughs> Um, I didn't really like the ending, uh, twist where Tilda betrayed us for some reason. She just decided, oh, for, uh, you know, Nemesis is a, uh, you know, they're like, oh, Nemesis is a thing, and now you're coming to space with me, and otherwise I'm gonna kill you. I didn't really like that. I, I didn't like how she kind of devalued Beta there at the end. By, say, by calling her an inferior copy of Elizabeth, because they're... They're identical. Like, literally, they're both clones of Elizabeth. And, but... Part of the reason Beta is... Was so, like, timid and shy is because... I mean, first off, Elizabeth straight up was timid and shy, like what, uh, like, Tilda said in, in her, in her dialogue with her, like, like, that, that, that's the thing, it's like, Tilda knows that Elizabeth was timid and shy, so it doesn't make any sense as to why she's, like, confused by Beta being timid and shy. Aloy, it makes sense because, you know, Aloy had a different upbringing than Elizabeth, so that probably did. Um... But it also just felt weird that Tilda was like, "Oh, they, oh, it's tra, oh, this th thing trapped us from the serious system, and you know, we we escaped within like a couple of hours, but it tracked that ship from the serious system all the way back to Earth, and then it, and the." Now, and now it's like, and, and and their big plan was, oh, we should go, we'll we'll go to a random star, uh, planet orbiting a random star, as if it wouldn't be able, as if it wouldn't still be able to track that way. And if it wasn't able to track them that way, why wouldn't they just go back? to... Why wouldn't they just go back to, um... Why, why wouldn't they just do that in the first place, then double back to Earth? Also... It doesn't make sense at all why the Far Zeniths weren't just forthcoming about, hey, listen, there's basically, a uh, big, powerful machine headed to hurtling towards Earth at light speed. 
we have technology that we could maybe use to fight it. Well, I guess the idea is that they can't, is that they can't fight it, but... Special Dice to Kojima Productions, interesting. Huh. I didn't realize, uh... Hideo Kojima and his company were... getting more involved with this game. Uh, but anyway, like, I guess the idea is that, you know, the Zeniths can't actually fight off Nemesis. Uh, because they're too far gone, or, or well, no, they're not, not that they're too far gone. Long in memory of Patrick Munich. Munich? I'm gonna assume it's Munich. But... It still just didn't doesn't make sense of why they why the forest units couldn't just be like hey listen couldn't have had a more friendly approach especially when they realized there was another like they saw Aloy and they immediately were like oh this is another clone of Sobek like having two clones of Sobek I believe I feel would be much better than one even though the the first one even though Aloy wasn't raised to be like a tool. Uh, unlike Bea. Oh, uh, oh, another thing. I realized the other day, I believe I said CO was probably, um, the acronym C period O period. Um, and while that is possible, I think based off the spelling, it's more likely that the title is supposed to be the acronym for Corporate Executive Officer, CEO. Especially because that's considered a title, so, like, uh, it's weird. I did enjoy, I did enjoy the game for the most part. It's, uh, don't get me wrong, it's, it was an interesting game. Um, it's just, it's just a matter of there's certain systems in the game that are just not great. And I really, really, really hope that they can improve them. Like, oh, we have melee combos. Great. What can I use those on that won't... That... Great. You know, give me an enemy that I can use those against. But that... But, that has, like, a weakness to them, but, like, a resistance to range or something like that. Like... Stealth, like, uh, you know, stealth attacks against machines are, you know, not as strong as I would like them. Um, and I feel like stealth takedowns against humans, auto-killing them, or auto-killing all of them, even, like, the heavy units is a little bit OP, but I guess you can... I guess we probably did have, like... We did have our stealth kills maxed out, so... For our stealth attack bonus match out, so I guess I, I guess I can like I can definitely understand you know or uh, you know be like I I can appreciate that um that the you know that our inputs are being reflected like that our our skill choices are being reflected in that way. It still feels really weird. Um, I don't know, but the whole Tilda thing just seems kind of weird because, like, if she was gonna betray, like, she basically betrayed the four zeniths to then be like, ah, I'm betraying the four zeniths, and now I'm saying that we used the, and, and now I'm also betraying the people that I betrayed the forest scene that's for like my, my original uh, suspicion was that I mean my, my original suspicion was that beta was gonna be was, was beta was gonna turn out to be like a double agent or whatever I am Bridget's museum for their for use of their collection Ah. Uh, Oh. Interesting. Yeah, 
I mean, some stuff just feels... But some of the, like, like, I'm, I'm still curious to see where the story goes from here, especially with the looming threat of Nemesis. But like, it almost, but like, it feels like, um, cause like, we fought and like, like, cause like, we, we got, we got Gaia basically back to how she was um, prior to the extinction signal being sent out that made Hades go rogue. Or that made Hades and all the other subordinate functions go rogue. So it's weird to me that they... Um... So now I'm just wondering, like, okay, now that Hades isn't there, is that what's going to be the defining reason as to why we're able to, or why Nemesis isn't able to, like, do stuff? Or, well, take, o take over Gaia? I don't know. I do hope these credits hurry up, though, because it is in almost four hours, and it is incredibly hot in here. <laughs> it's got to do more Tears of the Kingdom, but I might just take the rest of the night off, because it's almost 9 p.m. here, and... At that, and I haven't, like... Like, I've only eaten once today, and it was at, like, 3 o'clock. <laughs> and all it was was a sandwich and some chips. Granted, it was, you know, not a bad sandwich or anything, but it still wasn't, like... Basically, I, basically I'm, I'm gonna need to eat again soon. <laughs> uh... So I may take the rest of the night off simply because by the time I finish eating, I'll, um, it'll probably be close to 10 o'clock. And at, and at that point, I would only have like three or four hours. Even though three hours is, you know, or four hours is, you know, not terrible for, um... For Tears of the King, or for Zelda, I feel like, like, so many times, like, we've played, been playing for, like, f basically four to six hours, four to five hours a night. And good grief, it like, it's insane how little it feels like we get done in those four to five hours. Even though we are doing a lot overall, there's just so much to do in Tears of the Kingdom. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, 
I found out, speaking of Tears of the Kingdom, I found out that unfortunately the 15 room limit is like a hard limit. You can't be like, oh, I'll pay more money to expand the boundaries of the house or something. Because I would have, like, I would have loved to have had, like, you know, 20 room, you know, 25, 20, 25, maybe like 30 rooms. Um, but I should stop talking about Zelda because that's not what this is about. Um, sorry, I was, I, I was, I saw that and I was kind of mindlessly scrolling through Facebook while in the credits play. And see, this is another problem that I wish I wish studios would would stop doing. Um, the black screen with scrolling credits. <laughs> like at the like like at the at the start, we it, you know it was fine because we were flying around on the thing, and they could have easily had us go. Like, I, I keep saying I really wish companies would stop doing this, but they're not going to stop doing this. But at the beginning, you know, we were flying... Of oh, the credits, we were flying around on the... On a Sunwing, and they could they could have let us... They could have let us just free roam on the Sunwing during... While the credits were going there. It had us, you know, had follow-up conversation... You know, had some follow-up conversations happening while the credits were rolling. Rather than... Um, rather than just having us sit, rather than having us sit here with a black screen with scrolling credits. I'm sorry, Super Smash Brothers Melee in on the on the Nintendo GameCube had like basically the best credits of any game ever, <laughs> and I'm just like. Every time I see that, I'm like, I'm like, why is this, you know, because, because the credits in Melee were also, in Super Smash Bros. minigame, uh, Melee were also like a minigame, um, where you could try to shoot the names of, of the credits as they flew by. But, and, but, and every time I see something like this, and I just think, man, Nintendo did this right way back in in the GameCube era. I don't remember what year Super Smash Bros. Melee released, but way back during the GameCube era. Why are all these AAA... Granted, Super Smash Bros. and Nintendo are, tr are AAA, but why are all these AAA studios... Like, wh why do they make just... Such boring credit sequences. <laughs> and I guess it's... It maybe has to do with, like, animation limits, or... Or not animation limits, uh, but, like, budget limits and stuff like that. Still, I... I feel like it would be nice if they... If they would be, like... If they would just... Be like, hey, we want to make a not boring credit sequence. That's just black screen with scrolling names. I think it at least have like a little like you could at least put a little like bar on the side of the screen or something so that we could see where um like how far down the credits we are.
<laughs> I'm really disappointed because, uh, like, I saw the special thanks for to Kojima Productions and all that such, and then, and I was like, oh, I guess the credits are, you know, getting close to being done, and then it went to a black screen with scrolling names, and now I'm like, where is the special thanks at again? They even did, like, the whole thank you for playing thing, but with no, um... Or, or but it didn't, uh... Well, the, they did the thank you for playing thing, and then, and then they were like, oh, here, here's the black screen with scrolling names. <laughs> Rather than... having, uh, having credits that were, you know, actually kind of interesting to look at. Um, uh, what else can I say about the game? Uh, okay, um, here's how I would improve the combat. First off, I would make it so that, like, if you're, if you're gonna have melee be, like, a thing, make it more, make it viable. As a, like, make it a viable me melee, a viable means of taking on machines and other and you know um, enemies uh, or well, humanoid enemies, obviously. Because like right now, because like at the moment, it's not even really worth. It's not even really viable to take on most humanoid en enemies by the by the late game. And it's definitely not viable. For taking on machines, um, for um, for ranged, as far as the elements, what I would have done for acid is I would have made it to where. Acid arrows dealt damage over time and lowered defenses rather than just dealing damage over time. Uh, at least I don't think it lowered defenses. Maybe it did and I'm just wrong. Um, purge water, I think I would just cut out and I, I would, um, I would make purge water to where it, um, causes a weakness to electricity as well and not just and not just the state buildup but like if an enemy is covered in water and you and their water can guess what water conducts electricity so it would take to take increased damage from electrical attacks and that was definitely not the case um so I don't at least I'm pretty sure it was not the case. Plasma completely uncapped the damage against enemies, uh, and maybe make the blast. But may but as a result, maybe make the blast damage build up like lower. So like you would still be able to build up to like 750 damage, but it would take longer. And also like. I don't know, give players some way of, some way of dealing with plasma that isn't just cleanse potion, or get, or, or it's just any old elemental effect, really, that isn't just cleanse potion. Like, oh, you're covered in ice? Well, light a fire. It'll light a fire, and it makes the ice, el um, damage, or the state, the brittle state, I'm sorry, it's the actual, um, term. Um, and it may, you know, because they're next to fire, it makes the brittle state go away a little bit more. Or a little bit more quickly. Um, or like really quickly, rather. Um, as for, like, 
acid, obviously rolling around in water, and same with fire rolling around. Actually, with acid, you could probably get away with um, rolling around on the ground. Um, because it's like, oh, you're rolling around in the gr on the ground and getting, you know, getting the acid off of you. I guess water works as well, but, um, fire, obviously, roll in water or jump in water or something like that. Um... Herd water, obviously, stay next to, you know, next to fire. You're next to fire, so it's dry, so it's, you know, warm and drying you off. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I, like, like, I. I wish there were ways other than, you know, using cleanse potions to get rid of stuff. Also, potion limits are really bad. Like, the po the potion limit in this game sucks ass. I know in Zero Dawn there were like you you could carry so many potions that you never really had to worry about running out. But having nine potions in this is or having a maximum of nine po potions in this like overall like all your com potions combined and you can only have nine of them. That sucked. <laughs> cause like, cause like, I feel like I would have used potions a lot more if I, if I was like, oh well, if I potion up, then um, or if if, if I potion, up, you know, if I potion, then I can just go make another potion and. Or another this type of potion. I don't have to worry about. Oh, I only have so many slots for potions, so I have to make sure that I have plenty of potions. Like I have to make sure I have plenty of heals. I I should probably carry some weapon stamina. You know, I'd like to carry like a cleanse potion or two. Um. Yeah. Um. Overheals. Overheals in this. Like that need to just be gone. It, overheals don't need to exist in gaming because they are never there's like that's another one of my big pet one of my things that I'm most that I'm really easily annoyed by oh we're finally at the end of the credits nice um but overheals I said this before I think in the same playthrough there's only two ways to do them and neither of them are good they are and this game, this series has tried both. In Zero Dawn, you can overheal and it drains over time, making it effectively pointless. And in this game, it doesn't drain over time, but that just means that your mat's health isn't your actual mat's health. Because your mat's health is actually what your mat's health is plus, your, plus what you can overheal. Discovered Nemesis Dreadwing site. What? There. All trophies obtained. Platinum. Nice. Is the Dreadwing site up here? March? No, it's not. The game said I discovered a Dreadwing site, but there's definitely not a Dreadwing site showing up on the map that I can see. There's a Sunwing site up here? Where did that come from? <laughs> Tide Ripper site down here. Okay, yeah, these def there's definitely a bunch of sites that just popped up on the map. That's another thing I that's another thing I'm not really a fan of is 
oh, is, oh, there's just sites that pop up along the map randomly. Like, like, like we've definitely been, because we have 100% been to this area. And we have 100% been up to this area. Um, but anyway, that is all for Horizon Forbidden West for now. Actually, complete the main quest Singularity. New game plus start point. Congratulations on... Completing the main game, the story will now continue in the Burning Shores DLC and set in an entirely new area of the map with new quests, characters, machines, weapons, skills, <coughs> tools, outfits, collectibles, and more. Aloy will be contacted shortly with the next steps to begin the journey. You can also replay the game from the beginning in New Game Plus at any time using the New Game Plus start point of the base. Thanks for playing and enjoy the Burning Shores, the Horizon team. What? We are not in the fucking Memorial Grove. What are you talking about? Hidden number? What? Oh, is this going through all the areas that we just traveled through? It definitely is. Festus revisited. So we unleash a Festus on the Zenith printer matrix to whip up an armor machine to fight the spider. -tickers. And it worked. Great. But doing so, we had to release Hephaestus back into the wilds, where it will continue to be a major problem. Not so great. Little analysis slash pro prognosticate prognostication. Bad news first. Hef will undoubtedly retreat back to the Cauldron Network and will undoubtedly attempt to fulfill the symbol mission that is pursued since gaining sentience to protect uh, the terraforming system from predation by manufacturing combat machines to kill human hunters. Even worse, it will probably be stronger than ever before. Contact with the Zenith Network will likely have supercharged it, giving it access to new technologies, uh, tools, and upgrades. And because it can learn to rewrite itself, there's no way... It will fall for the same trick that defeated it before, so recapturing it called Ultron Gemini is a non-starter. But there are some silver linings. Even though the merge with Gaia was aborted, she was able to copy over some of the original Hephaestus code base. On top of that, Silence has extracted some extremely helpful data from the Zenith copy of Apollo. Combined, these developments should enable Gaia to, expert, to exert significantly more influence over the terraforming system. She won't be able to take direct control of machines or stop Hephaestus from building combat units, but she can't but she estimates that by deploying a variety of workarounds she can stabilize the biosphere within a year. So we won't all die, at least not before Nemesis arrives. In addition, she has since she now has some of Hef's source code, we should be able to develop new strategies to contain it. It'll take time, of course, but round two is coming, Hef, and next time I'll be ready for you. Beta. Italy. A certain complication has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the Zenith base. And don't worry. I haven't disturbed her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. New main quest to the Burning Shores. Is this a piece from the Bulwark? Hollow must have brought this with him as a trophy. I may have fired the cannon, but he really put Dakota in his place. What are you up to? I'm getting a head start on looking for ways to temporarily stabilize the biosphere. We may not have a Festus, but I'm sure we can come up with something. Um...
real quick, let me just make sure. Okay, yes, I can still go do the machine strike things. Uh, yeah, that's... But I'm surprised there's no new dialogue with anyone. I said, where is everybody anyway? It's like, obviously there's beta. Does Gaia have new dialogue? Everything okay, Gaia? Yes, it is good to be home. Although my heuristic matrix will take some time to reinitialize, I must ensure that all Zenith code has been purged from my systems. Good idea. Take as long as you need. Are we gonna be able to fix the biosphere with Hephaestus back out in the wild? With its escape to the Global Cauldron Network, Hephaestus has resumed its operations and increased its security protocols. I am already formulating options to recontain it. Additionally, I will utilize the capabilities of my remaining subordinate functions and make every effort to stave off collapse of the biosphere. I am certain it will gain us some time. Sounds good. And there's the premise for Horizon 3, I guess. Us is still running around in the world, and I mean the entire they 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 had the entire premise for Horizon Three in Nemesis. <laughs> Where they just wrote in. Whether well, there's anime style wrote in an even bigger threat than the Zeniths who we thought were trying to destroy the, the world. Oh, this doesn't show the other functions, huh? Also, it's weird that we don't have... Um... First off, it's weird that we can't... Or that we don't have, like, you know, cutscene-like dialogue anymore. Aha! There's a new thing. Maybe one day, I'll head back to the Sacred Lands and see Sona again. Tell her what her son accomplished. And how brave he was. Elizabeth had a dream for this world. A lot didn't go as planned. And there are still dangers ahead. Maybe the biggest yet. But after what Beta and I accomplished, I... I have hope. We'll fight for Elizabeth's dream. Together. I mean, you... You sought the far zeniths and found out that there's a much bigger threat coming. Uh, anyway, I don't think that really count. I, I can't really say that, that quantifies to too much, if I'm honest. But, I mean, I guess technically we've bought a little bit, mo a bit more time before everything goes real bad. Um, but yeah, I need to head out so that I can eat, because it is almost, it's 
almost 10 p.m. here. Oh, it's uh, 9... 9.18 p.m. here. I have only eaten once. Uh, I'm, normally I would stream um, War Tears of the... I would have come back in like an hour and streamed War Tears of the Kingdom. But, but by the time I get done, it's eating, like I said, it's probably going to be after 10 o'clock. And at that point, I'm, at the point I would normally I would be streaming for like 10 to like maybe 2? Or from like 10.30 to maybe 2 o'clock. And that, that's a, I mean, that is like 4 hours, but I don't know that I want to stay up that late tonight because i had to get up early today as well so yeah i'm gonna just end things off here uh we'll come back to horizon tomorrow and before we do the dlc i will go ahead and not and do the three expert level machine strike uh things because it actually feels really really weird um, I'll also go mark these couple of, these two or three spots that popped up on the map, um, up here and down here. Uh. I'm wondering where that Dreadwing site is. Cause like, obviously, we know the one spot, like, right here where we can fight a Stormbird and a Dreadwing, but, like, it's not marked on the map. <laughs> so, I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, we'll do the... We'll... We'll come back to this tomorrow, we'll do the machine strike challenges, we'll grab these, and we may even start the DLC before, if we have enough time to do the, or after completing the machine strike challenges. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and get the, Seems quieter when it snows. but I wanted to get the rest of the game, or the rest of the story knocked out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's all for tonight. Good night. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for coming out, and I hope you have enjoyed Horizon uh, Forbidden West. Like I said, we will be doing the DLC starting, probably starting tomorrow. Uh, see you all then. Later.